May your troubles be less, your blessings be more, and nothing but happiness come through your door. A toast to the new Mr. and Mrs. Congratulations. Upon receiving the note, my wife writes, our day is finally here. After months and months of planning, it is finally here. All of our friends and family are here to join us in celebrating this happy day. So I hope we don't mess up anything, although that could be a little funny. I have been praying for you and for this moment since I was a little girl. Now, since you have been present at this blessed hour before the sanctuary of the Lord of Hosts and His holy altar in this Orthodox celebration, you have been united by this blessed marriage and holy crowning. I love you and I'm so thankful and blessed to have this unity with you for the rest of my life. I remember when I first saw you, I thought to myself, wow, she's beautiful. Here I am now giving on oath to you and God that I'll be your husband. Never in a million years did I think that I would marry, <laughs> marry Snooky, but here we are. Over the past years you have grown to be my best friend, the first and last person I think about as the sun rises and sets. You have always reminded me about God's love and timing when days get tough. My blessed son Botros, today you are responsible for her instead of her parents. You have both been crowned with the heavenly crowning and the spiritual marriage. The grace of God has settled upon you when you accept what has been commanded of you. And you, blessed daughter and happy bride Mary, you have heard what was commanded of your husband, Butrus, so you must honor and respect him. Do not disagree with him, but increase your obedience to him over what was commanded many times. For you now are alone with him, and he's responsible for you instead of your parents. I am blessed and unworthy to have you on my side. I love you, Mr. and Mrs. Butchers and Mary Solomon. <laughs>